the Reichstag fire in one minute. Germany in early 1933 was not yet thoroughly Nazified and Hitler was not yet supreme. His chancellorship was still in its infancy and quite vulnerable to the turbulence of political eddies. It was not by popular suffrage, mind you, but by Hindenburg's appointment that Hitler became chancellor after failing to displace the octogenarian field marshal as president. Hitler, as we know, had grand designs of which Hindenburg was wary, on which he placed the following restraint. Hitler was to govern with a parliamentary majority, not as an all-powerful despot. The trouble was, Hitler couldn't meet that sole condition. The communists occupied seats in the Reichstag, of which he hoped to dispossess them. Failing to provoke a Bolshevik revolution, for which he could then arrest them, he decided to stage one. On the 27th of February, a detachment of stormtroopers infiltrated and doused the Reichstag building with gasoline. Marinus van der Lubbe, a Dutch communist arsonist fool, was sent in and encouraged to light a few matches. He did so, and with the aid of some essay incendiaries, the Reichstag burned. Van der Lubbe was executed, Hitler suspended all liberties, and still the party failed to gain a majority. 